Deep in the vault of glass, the fabric of reality bends to the will of the Vex. Guardians that escape erasure will face Atheon, time's conflux. The centerpiece of the Vex project, a command nexus that unifies the Vex across time, where multiple pathways and possibilities converge upon a single point. Within the Vault of Glass, the Vex seek to become a law of reality, and inseparable from existence. However, we have one comfort. The Vex cannot manifest this power outside of the Vault of Glass. This is Mylan Games, and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny Law episode on the Vault of Glass, where we will try to uncover its purpose, its relationship to the Black Garden, its importance to the general plotline of Destiny, and how the Hive potentially influenced its creation. We know that the Vex aim to make themselves inseparable from reality, and the Vault of Glass acts as almost a research facility for the Vex, where they have increased power over different timelines. In fact, some Vex units have the ability to erase Guardians from history. Praetith and Kabir are examples of this. I've already made detailed videos on both of these characters. The links are in the description below. However, what prompted the Vex to create the Vault of Glass? Where did this all start? The earliest records of the Vex are seen in the Book of Sorrows. In the Book of Sorrows, verse 4.9, open your eye, go into it, it describes the Vex invading Oryx's throne world. Oryx's sister, Savathun, tricked Crota into creating a portal. The portal linked the Vex world and Oryx's throne world. The Vex quickly invaded the throne world, and whilst at first they were disorientated by the rules of the throne world, the sword logic, they quickly created a Vex mind called Korea Blade Transform. This Vex mind deduced the sword logic, and with this understanding, the Vex became extremely powerful in the throne world. So powerful, in fact, they fought for 100 years. Even when Crota had the assistance from his Death Singer sisters, Ia Halak and Ia Anuk, who even created a very powerful weapon to destroy the Vex, the Annihilator Totem. During this time, the Vex mind Korea was able to capture worm larvae and began experimenting with them. Korea Blade Transform determined that by directing worship at the worms, it could alter reality with mild ontopathogenic effects. To increase the effectiveness of this, Korea Blade Transform created a priesthood and ordered them to believe in worship. This event, I believe, was a precursor to the Black Garden, a priesthood of X units devoted to worship. This card is also very interesting because it says that the Vex learned it could alter reality with mild ontopathogenic effects. Does this mean that the Vex learnt how to time travel from the worship of the worms, and prior to this, they did not have this ability? Or does it just mean that they already have the ability to alter reality? However, now they discovered the ontopathogenic effects. Ontopathogenic is not a real word. However, I believe it means this. The prefix onto relates to the nature of being or existing, and pathogenic is related to being infectious. So I interpret this as, when the Vex altered reality, it was infectious. You change one timeline, one reality, and it spreads like an infection. It has a ripple effect, spreading and jumping between timelines. This is reinforced by the Grimmel card, Atheon Times Conflux, where it says, the Vex seek to worm their way into these calculations, to become a law of reality, inseparable from existence, a virus in the system. Ontopathogenic may also relate to the hallucinogenic nature of Vex cells, as seen in a number of Vault of Glass armor pieces. 
For example, the Hunter Helmet, Prime Zealot Helm, reads, Forged from the cause of haze and vex, if you feel a sense of revelation, remove immediately and inject anti-entheogens. An entheogen is something that causes a hallucination. Lastly, ontopathogenic should sound familiar, as we have seen the use of ontological weapons many times in the Grimoire cards. Oryx, the Oracles, the Templar, and the Gorgons have all been documented to possess ontological weapons. Ontology is the study of being, becoming, existence, and reality, so ontological weapons aim to erase beings from existence. The Warlock chess piece, Eclipse Maw 6, supports this with its item description. Applied ontology is the art of convincing things they shouldn't exist. The Gorgon's Grimoire card reads, Like the Oracles and the Templar, the Gorgons reputedly possess the ability to define what is and is not real. Whatever they perceive becomes subject to erasure at their will. It appears that Oryx is the first to use ontological weapons, and he uses it on the Vex. In the Book of Sorrows, verse 5.1, end of failed timeline, it reads, By now, Kriya knows it can't win. There's something pathological about the world inside Oryx's ship. It resists analysis with hot, dead spite, and Oryx himself is irreducible. He refuses to obey Korea's simulations. He crashes around, sowing chaos. He grabs submines and compromises them with some kind of ontological weapon. Paracausal systems. Very problematic. At this point, the Vex know that they cannot win, so rather than continuing to fight Oryx, Korea Blade Transform does this. Verse 5.1 reads, Korea shuts down its weapons and puts all its spare resources into sending telemetry to the greater Vex. There will be points in space and time where this data is vital. There will be great projects undertaken in the study of this ontological power, this throne space. Where are the Vex sending this data? I speculate they are sending it to Atheon in the Vault of Glass centerpiece of the Vex project, a point in time and space where it can be studied. So maybe the Templar, Oracles and Gorgons, who now all have ontological weapons, originally learnt this from the data gathered from Oryx and also from the priesthood of Vex who worship the worms. It is also possible that the Vault of Glass did not yet exist And this was more of a precursor to the Vault of Glass, as the Vex realised they needed a space to experiment with ontological weapons. Regardless of what you believe, I think it is safe to say that the Vex increased their ability to alter timelines from their interactions with Oryx and through worshipping the worms. The motives of Oryx and the Vex are the same. In the Book of Sorrows, verse 4.10, an emperor for all outcomes, Oryx says, I've met a worthy rival. They want to exist forever, just as I do. But I don't understand them. He goes on to tell Savathun, The Vex work tirelessly to understand everything, so that they could build a victory condition for every possible end state of the universe. This is where I believe the Vex had a better understanding of how to live forever than Oryx did. Oryx formed a symbiotic relationship with the worms to gain its power. However, this power was flawed because Oryx had to continually feed his worm, otherwise it would devour him. I believe the Vex understood this flaw, and this is reinforced in the Book of Sorrows, verse 4.9, Open Your Eye, Go Into It, where Korea never attempted to introduce the worm larvae into its mind fluid. If you did not know, the Vex are a liquid race made up of tiny organisms called radiolaria. When you destroy a Vex unit and see the milky fluid, 
This is the actual VEX. This is what connects all the VEX units. And so Korea understood the bargain with the worms and never introduced the worms to their fluid. Consequently, if the VEX did not side with the worms, how were they ever going to gain enough power, enough understanding of reality, enough ontological weapons to defeat Oryx? Well, their calculations told them that worshipping the deep, worshipping the darkness, was the most effective method. We know that Korea Blade Transform was eventually captured by Oryx and gifted to his sister, Savathun. I presume that this meant that the Vex in captivity could no longer worship the worms and send data back to the Vault of Glass, or wherever they were sending this information. And so they needed an alternative, the Black Garden. The Black Garden has many mysteries in itself. Some speculate that it was created out of synergy when the Traveller visited Mars, as detailed in the Grimoire card, Legends Black Garden. The Traveller moved across the face of the Iron World. It opened the earth and stitched shut the sky. It made life possible. In these things there is always symmetry. Do you understand? This is not the beginning, but it is the reason. Regardless of the creation of the Black Garden, the heart of the Black Garden is closely aligned with the darkness, if not an aspect of the darkness itself. As reinforced by the strangest call Grimoire card, which reads, There are tales of the Black Garden, and the darkness that lives at its heart. And also the Taken Enemies Grimoire card, which reads, Oryx wields this power, but Oryx did not make it. We face the same flower we met in the Black Garden. Even though the Black Garden is described as the birthplace of the Vex, I do not believe this is the literal birthplace of the Vex, as many cards describe how the Vex found the heart in the Garden, implying it was already there. The Vex would also be later called the Gardeners. This is reinforced by the Soul Progeny Grimoire card, where Commander Zavella says, It is my hypothesis, a hypothesis at best, that the Vex saw the abominable presence at the heart of the garden as a divine power. I can hear your protest already. How can machines have a god? The answer is simple. The Vex, for all their voracious intelligence, could not understand or decipher what they found. They searched through all available reactions, and they settled on the course with the greatest payoff, to worship this power and to remake themselves in its image. So it's not their literal birthplace, but more about being born again. In the Book of Sorrows, the Vex began experimenting by worshipping the worms, which granted them a greater understanding of altering timelines, and after Korea Blade Transform was captured, they needed an alternative place to worship. They discovered the Black Garden and the darkness at its heart, and instructed the priesthood of Vex to worship the heart. And just like when they worshipped the worms and simulated Oryx, they needed somewhere to send the data, to study, enhance and further develop ontological weapons, and so it was sent to the Vault of Glass. This is how I believe the Black Garden and the Vault of Glass work in unison. The Vex and the Black Garden are sending all this information to Atheon in the Vault of Glass to allow them to bring forth the powers of the Vex in the material world. I believe this is supported by the Black Garden Grimoire card which reads, At last, the heart of the garden has been destroyed, its stranglehold on the Traveller released, our light brightens. But the power of the Vex is not broken, look into the Vault Guardian, for it is said to hold powers the progeny were meant to bring forth. The speaker. After we have defeated the heart of the Black Garden, we have destroyed that link. We have halted the Vex's development of ontological weapons. However, Atheon still exists, and maybe they already have enough information to continue their research. And considering Atheon is a point where causal pathways converge from every axis in the space time bulk, there may be other Black Gardens out there still relaying data. 
In the Grimoire card, Atheon Times Conflux, Atheon is described as the centerpiece of this project. So as Guardians, we head into the vault to defeat Atheon and ensure that the Vex ontological weapons remain within the walls of the Vault of Glass. Even upon Atheon's defeat, we cannot be certain that the Vex are truly defeated. There are a number of cards and items that hints at something greater than Atheon. The Kabir Grimoire card reads, In the vault, time frays, and a needle moves through it. The needle is the will of Atheon. I do not know the name of the shape that comes after the needle. In the Ghost Fragment Mysteries Grimoire card, Rasputin refers to the darkness as it, but also references a single unit known as the Gardener. It reads, It is alone, and it is strong, and it won, even over the Gardener, and she held power beyond me. Is the Gardener the true leader of the Vex? Atheon's epilogue reads, Atheon's story is still being written. The wielder holds the pen. Perhaps the greatest clue that Atheon is not the final boss is in his name. Like many units within the Vault of Glass, they have a representation in Greek mythology. Atheon in Greek mythology is the horse of Helios, the personification of the sun, or in Roman mythology, Sol. So guardians, the battle is not yet over. We still await the master of Atheon. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Vault of Glass, which focused more on the Vex and how the Vault of Glass sits within the plotline of Destiny. If you would like to support the channel but cannot think of a comment, you can leave a comment. Atheon, the horse. A big thank you to everyone who assisted with the footage. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.